I guess my question is when it comes to f- fair price pharma and, and their, their heroin, do you believe that there should be a, a move towards a retail heroin business in Canada as is being purported by fair price pharma? No, I, I, I think that that would be a very ill-advised step. Um, vending machines. And so the, the vending machine for so-called safe supply that uh, Dr. Mark Tyndall has put forward, do you think that that is a responsible use of taxpayer dollars? Not at all. The familiar refrain, which has some truth to it, that um, addictions are problems of loss of connection, it it is uh, uh, bewildering to put a vending machine um, between uh, the government and a person who is suffering rather than uh, an opportunity to interact with a human that can accompany them on some constructive steps in a healing path. I, I heard you a while back at a conference in Calgary talking about the housing market and one of the studies you did about who were the most successful post-recovery um, in housing and which housing models were. And I was just wondering if you could expand on that a little bit. Canada has a, a major tradition of um, uh following deinstitutionalization, uh, along with many other places, the tradition of predicating that um, closing of large institutions on a commitment to instituting community-based recovery-oriented services. This is a, this is a decades-old refrain that we, we were reminded of when Senator Kirby crossed the country and, and, and summarized his findings in Out of the Shadows at Last. Once again, we were told we have not closed that gap. Canada, Canadians funded the world's largest randomized control trials evaluating recovery-oriented housing in comparison to usual care. The results were dramatic. I led the trials in Vancouver, where our focus was on addiction. We found dramatic reductions in crime, medical emergencies. Are there any documents on that? A large number of... Could you- of Table those with publications. the if you could table those with the committee, that would be spectacular. So just I to, will. to follow up on some of these points, I wonder if perhaps we could get agreement around the room um, to have the documents produced, um, specifically financial documents, donor information, and contracts with the government for Fair Price Pharma, MySafe. Um, to add into our committee. So I'm just wondering, Chair, if, if we could have... Okay, you're out of time, Ms. Goodrich. That's a request for unanimous consent for the production of some documents. Is, uh, is everyone clear on what's being asked for? Uh, okay. Uh, do we have unanimous consent to request those documents? No. No. Okay. Not right now. There is there, there is no unanimous consent. Okay. 